This is pretty amazing because I, I can't even find my lost keys this fast. In less than 24 hours, we managed to reunite some special military memorabilia with its rightful owner. Those belongings were found on the side of the road by a good Samaritan who contacted Five on Your Side. Art Holiday quickly heard from the man's grandchildren. Welcome to the Lost and Found. A uh, marriage certificate and I think this was a, he was in the uh, National Guard. Marriage license, Navy discharge certificate, military uniform. After finding a box of personal mementos on the side of the road in Lake St. Louis, Rob Bell contacted Five on Your Side to do a news story to locate the family of Navy veteran Carl House. His granddaughter, Christine Batson, was watching our 6 p.m. Tuesday newscast. Then when you showed the marriage certificate and you said Florence Albers, and then you said, and their son Edward died in 2010, I'm like, oh, that's my grandfather. I was so excited. I, I was like, how do I call you? I was waiting for you to give the phone number. Why don't you give the phone number? My bad, Christine. Good afternoon. How are you? Thank you for coming by. Yeah, no problem. Hi, Rob. Hi, Christine. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Come on in. All right. Here it is. Oh, my gosh. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Wednesday's lunch hour was literally high noon as Rob delivered the blue plastic container that made Christine's day. I really appreciate it. My mom just thanks you tremendously for all of these items. The quality isn't the best, but you know, I guess. Oh back no, then, I think you know, it's in excellent condition. Yeah. Now we know even more about Carl Alvin House, Navy veteran and former St. Louis police officer. And then there's the mystery of how it wound up on yes. the side of the road. None of us live in Lake St. Louis. The mystery of Highway A and how Carl's belongings wound up on the side of the road may remain a mystery. His wife, Florence. I think these, she had these, and probably someone in her family dropped this. It's amazing that my mother is still alive and that I can go out there after you leave and go share these things with her. I think she's more excited than I am. Besides sharing the good news with her 92-year-old mother, Christine heard from other relatives who began exchanging photos and memories of Carl House, one of the family patriarchs, gone but not forgotten. It's too bad he's not here to see all the great grandchildren and everything, you know, that has transpired since his death. That's wonderful. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. So, oh, so absolutely. much. I'm glad yeah. I got a little, little story behind it. Now, I received more than a dozen emails following last night's story, so thanks to those of you who are trying to help. And in the story, you saw a photo of Carl House's 92-year-old daughter, who is among the family members, thrilled to get Carl's belongings back where they belong. That is just, it's such an amazing story and it is so nice that you got such a response for this because you just went out there, you didn't know if you were going to get a response. Well, I went home last night after the six to eat dinner and then about an hour later I started checking my email and it was like email after email yeah. after email. So yeah, we got a result. And, and thank goodness good. that that man was curious enough to go, what's in that blue <laughs> bin on the side of the road? Yeah, exactly. All right, all right.